I've been digging some ponds today. By hand. Well, hey, today is a sunny but very windy day. We've had basically a continual 22 to 30 mile per hour winds all day. And today, or right now, is actually a calm moment compared to the rest. And I'll show you what I've been doing. So I've been working all day on different things, but the wind was so hard I was a little afraid that you wouldn't be able to hear anything I'm saying anyway, so that wouldn't have made a great video. But um, one thing we did is we cleaned up the pile of aluminum here as much as we could. Um, you can see it in the distance, it's in the pickup. Now, this is bittersweet, because that aluminum can be used for flashing, and I can make shingles out of it. I can't help but think that I can put things to better use than just bringing them to a recycled place. But that's a different project. I've been digging some ponds today. By hand. And I've just been starting with what is already wet, so there's a little puddle there. Um, and I, I'm kind of just going around the, the perimeter here. I'm going to try to just make an interesting shape out here, following the low, the low line areas and then build up on the outside. That way I'll get less of this swamp type of thing going on and more of a very clear delineation between what's dry land and what is water. I'm very excited about that. Also, you saw a little while ago that I, would, I was planting all these willows out here, but now I want to plant poplars, poplars that we got. And they, they've taken longer to root out, but they are now ready to plant. We're to the same point now, water-wise, as we were two weeks ago when we planted the willows. And I was afraid that if I waited too much longer with the willows that everything would dry out. And of course it rained and it set us back another couple weeks. So now it is starting to dry out again. It's time to plant these poplars. Alright, there's what's left of the willows. And here are the poplars. We've got tons of them. I'm willing to spend the extra time in this area to dig this extra deep hole. Whoever had this house before us had spread gravel on the driveway and they had made it about twice as wide as it is now. And I have to dig through about a foot and a half of this uh, you know, driveway mix in order to get down to the native soil. And we want trees to line the driveway. It's kind of a, a dream. It's like a detail of the grand dream that we've always had. So yeah, I'm willing to spend the time to to dig deep holes to make sure that we have a tree lined driveway. Well it's, it'll be lined with trees immediately but they won't make much of a difference now. <laughs> but someday they will. I don't know if we can see how rocky that is. It's just dri driveway gravel mixed with a little bit of dirt. You know, one nice thing about this is I don't have to water these. Um, that's the good thing about planting at this time of year. The ground is so saturated with water already, it's as if I already gave them a big, a big drink. 
I think they'll do really well without any interference on my part. That's kind of the definition of permaculture. These things can probably do well without any attention from us at all. So that's what we're hoping. A do-nothing garden. Hi. It's windy, huh? Alright, I've got three trees in. And on this one, uh, it looks like it's suffering a bit. Um, so just to be sure, I put in another one. I just rammed the end of the shovel into the ground and stuck another tree in there. They would kind of act like coppiced trees, you know, where you cut them off short and they, you know, let them spring back up with multiple uh, trunks. I'm gonna try it out. Just, probably just on this one right here. I like jumping around from one project to the other. It keeps it interesting for me. Um, so I'm gonna start digging this pond again. So Lizzie and Alex and Emma are here and, and, Everett. and Everett have come up with this awesome thing and they've come out to show me. <laughs> you guys are awesome. <laughs> okay. Mashed potato, sheriff potato, 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 french fry, mashed potato, and potato chip. <laughs> you guys are awesome. <laughs> Very creative. I guess it's up to me. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna put these in the water. See, it's pretty deep so far. Yeah. Just making it bigger. I've always kind of joked that I have far more time than money. And people say, well, your time is worth something too, which is true. My time is worth something. But whenever somebody is working, for someone else. They're trading their personal time for money. I am trading my personal time instead for enjoyment of the situation. I get to enjoy the process of digging a pond myself. And I get to keep my money. Wow. The wind outside is crazy. I had to come in and I checked the uh, the weather report and uh, it got up to 55 miles an hour 55 miles an hour and uh, check on the roof here oh yeah eh, damaged but not too bad obviously I need to put that down better we're not I'm not gonna get up there <laughs> no way it is cold too um, we lost about 25 degrees, um, but I just wanted to show you what I accomplished with this little tiny front yard pond. It's going to be maybe 30 feet by probably 30 feet that way as well, 35 maybe. And I would love to have a little tractor as long as I get to drive it, <laughs> but I'm okay with doing it by hand, uh, but not in this weather. I'm going back in. Thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.